the words? Because it's my song. <laughs> I won't go back, can't go back to the way you used to be. Ding. Hallelujah. <laughs> Heavenly Father, thank you for your time and your presence. Thank you for your glory. Thank you, your majesty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for this broken heart and contrite spirit, Lord, for it is a sacrifice unto you. God bless you. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. We still here worshiping you, Papa. We still here. We still here. <laughs> Apostles Creed. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international video. I'm Kenethia Elias or Elias. Praise the Lord. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the Christianity Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In Jesus Christ Almighty name. Amen. So, the angels of the Lord God Jesus Christ wants to speak about divine counsel. Okay? Divine counsel. So, we're actually going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about divine counsel that comes from angels. That's when you get, that's when God step in and he send the angel to counsel you through whoever, or they might even appear in human form and you entertain an angel unaware. Okay. So we're going to talk about all of that because there is so much to the heavenly father that we're just cracking open in this ministry. So I'm super excited. Okay. To bring this wisdom, um, so we're also going to talk about, again, the man leaving his family, which could be his spiritual family or his earthly family, you know, whichever one you haven't done yet, that's what the Lord is telling you to do as a man. But the man leaves his house to join the woman's house, okay? Exodus 18, verse 24. Exodus 18, verse 24. Those are the two things we're talking about today. Okay. And all of these come from our daily devotional. So even when it sounds like it doesn't and I don't show the book, it's a devotional. Sometimes I tell you, okay, well, the Lord said this. So I'm telling you what the Lord said. But when we do these kind of Bible study videos, it, it comes from this one, or I think in the past I had Dr. Charles Stanley devotional. His is so good. I recommend that one. Sorry. Exodus 18, verse 24. Okay. So Moses heeded the voice of his father-in-law and did all that he had said. Okay, so Moses heeded the voice of his Shobar. Amen. If you don't know Jethro, okay, Jethro, that's how you pronounce it. Jethro was his father-in-law. And he basically raised Moses up. Like, he, he was a priest. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jethro was a priest. Midianites? <laughs> he was a priest, okay? And so... Uh, when Moses ran away after he killed the 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 the, uh, the slave master, he ran away into the desert shortly after he had his encounter with the Lord. 
No, he had that encounter after meeting Jethro. So, yeah, he ran into the desert and then he ended up meeting Jethro's daughters first and then met Jethro. I don't, I don't know, guys, but it happened something like that. You can read it. It's in Exodus. It starts from Exodus. Yeah, Moses flees to Midian, then Moses at the burning bush, miraculous signs. Okay, so yeah, Exodus, I still ain't, I still didn't say it. No, this is just Exodus 1, really. From Exodus, like, you can't skip. Exodus had a lot. <laughs> this is my Exodus. Where y'all think she got it from? Praise the Lord. The whole book of Exodus from chapter one to, in order to get clarity on the Moses story. But anyway, Moses listened to his father-in-law and did everything he said. Even in um, Exodus 18, Jethro's advice to Moses. So the Lord is just telling the men, make sure you are not leaving your wives spiritual parents out or mother and father out because you are to cling to her family okay i i, I say this a lot because the church does it a lot of churches do it backwards they'll so, not my church but some churches a lot of churches do it backwards they'll say but not, yeah, not, not really my church. My church is always tell the women to bring the man to church. They, they always, our pastors always say, your husband got to meet us first. Don't just jump in a relationship. Make sure we're there. Make sure we know. Make sure we've prayed. Make sure we've said yes. Make sure we, the God said yes. Like, you know, they always say, bring the man to church. So, this video is for who is for at this point. The Lord is saying, listen to your father-in-law. Moses listened to his father-in-law. Okay. Divine counsel comes from the heavenly father. We're going to get into divine counsel. Let's see what we have in the Holy Bible. Now we have to do that movie. Psalm 73, verse 24. And Psalm 32, verse 8. But Psalm 73, verse 24. With your counsel, you will guide me. And afterward, receive me to glory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. With your counsel, you will guide me. And afterward, receive me to glory. Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Okay. When I will counsel you with my eye upon you. The Lord is saying divine counsel is coming to you. For some people, he's sending an angel to come help y'all. It could be an angel or archangel. The Lord is sending a divine counsel, which he considers his angels. They're going to come in and help. Okay, he's sending the help. God is sending the help. Welcome as you come in. God is sending your help, divine counsel, through the angels of the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Okay, I pray you have a blessed day. Shalom.